Well, Doctor, we've animated a little sequence here about a character we call Joe Commuter. Here he is, undisturbed by any outside uh, stimulus, like that 715 special he takes five mornings a week. Who's the little man? He's new around here, isn't he? Well, he represents the thinking part of Joe's brain. He checks things against memory and past experience and decides Joe's actions on the probabilities of the future. Next on the agenda, breakfast. Good morning, dear. And so, the day begins. What a beautiful day. It's nice to live in the country. I think I'll walk to the station. Well, what do you know? Wild strawberries. I used to taste wonderful when I was a kid. Hold it. Hold it right there. Now let's back up and break that action down into slow motion and see what happens. The first thing Joe has to decide is whether these really are strawberries. Now that's where the eye comes in. familiar. Let's check. Strawberry, huh? Of course. Well, what about the other sensors? Not much action here. Strawberries aren't very noisy. Meanwhile, touch is checking up on everything coming in contact with the skin. So headquarters is informed. The berry is picked. Wait a minute. How about checking with the lab? Sense of smell. Aha. Uh -huh. And that worried look is natural. After all, how do you describe the smell of a strawberry? Stimulus dispatched. Analyzed. Okayed by headquarters. Go ahead. Eat it. Taste it. Another chemist gets into the act. Taste this time. How is it? Should be sweet. Sour? Sour. Well, a lot happened in those few moments. And Lou, what was it that triggered all those little sensory characters into action? Well, the light from the strawberry carried the stimulus to the eye. Bee buzzing stimulated the ear and the chemical reaction on the nose and tongue stimulated the sensory endings of smell and taste. Stimulus, that's the key word, stimulus. 